Hi, and welcome to another edition of Your Health with Dr. Christy. My name is Dr. Christy Reisinger, and today I'll be answering the question, how accurate is COVID-19 testing? The main way that we're testing for COVID-19 now is with a nasopharyngeal swab. That means a six inch swab is placed up the nose to the very far back of the nose and twirled around for 14 seconds. And then the other side is also done. It's then sent for RT-PCR. This stands for reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction. And that test looks for tiny bits of the virus and then sends an indicator that shows that the test is positive. Most tests currently are taking a few days, but manufacturers are quickly developing a point of care test that gives results in less than an hour. The test is highly specific, meaning that if you're positive, you're most likely positive. However, the tests we found have not been very sensitive, meaning that if you're negative, it may be falsely negative 10 to 30% of the time. Well, what can lead to these false negative tests? There can be two reasons for this. One is that there's not enough virus present. Either the testing is being done too early or the testing is done too late in the illness. The second reason may be an incorrect sample collection meaning that six inch swab isn't inserted and rotated for 14 seconds like I mentioned before. Samples from deep in the lung and even sputum have been found to have more virus and tend to have fewer false negatives, but we often aren't able to get those types of samples until a patient is in the hospital. I think we can say that if you have symptoms consistent with COVID-19 currently, even if your test is negative, you should assume that you have it and you should self-quarantine until you are completely symptom-free for a consecutive 72 hours. I do wanna compare the COVID-19 test to the influenza tests that a lot of us get every year. The influenza tests are also not perfect. I wish I could say that testing were always perfect, but we're always gonna have problems with sensitivity and specificity. The rapid flu tests that we use every year only have a, about a 50 to 70% sensitivity, meaning that there are quite a few false negatives. However, the specificity like the COVID-19 testing is also very high of 90 to 95%, meaning that there are very few false positives. I also wanna spend a little bit of time talking about blood or serological testing for antibodies. That's been in the news a lot and it's a very exciting development. It may be even more accurate than the nasopharyngeal swabs that we're collecting, but it's not very available right now. We have found that blood testing along with nasopharyngeal swabs usually get us the best detection up to 98.6% of the time we know that someone has COVID-19. However, it's just not realistic for us to be able to collect nasopharyngeal swabs and blood testing on people right now. I also think we'll be able to see serological testing soon to check for antibodies to see if you've ever had the virus, and we'll know more about this soon. It's still in the testing phases. Once again, I just wanna remind everyone that they need to be washing their hands, social distancing, and staying at home. Thanks again for joining me.